Hello, my name's Christopher, and I'll today show you how to install LibreSpeed on Casa OS. So, uh, this makes it to where you can have a, your own speed test server on your local home lab and be able to run it anytime you want. So, uh, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, you're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So a little bit about uh, labor speed. It's a self-hosted speed test for HMO5 and more easy setup examples and uh, m multiple servers. Um, no flash, no Java, no web socket, no bull. This is very lightweight speed test implemented in JavaScript using XML, HTTP request and web workers. And uh, it supports all modern br browsers IE 11, the latest Edge, the latest Chrome, the latest Firefox, the latest Safari. Works with mobile too. Uh, download, upload, ping, jitter, IP address, ISP, distance from server, telemetry, a result sharing, and multiple uh, points of test. The server requirements are reasonably fast web server with Apache 2 and Nginx or IIS, all supported. Uh, P P P PHP 5.4. Other backends are also available. A MySQL da database can be used to store the speed test results. A fast internet connection. So we'll be installing it with Docker uh, Compose, which is Docker underneath. So we're going to start on the Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description for it. Um, so I'm going to go to how to install LibreSpeed on Casa OS right here. And then I'm going to go into Docker Compose a Libre Speed right here. And then I'm going to explain it. So Docker Compose version 3 is being used. Divine Services. And then the service underneath the services is called Libre Speed. And then I'm going to set an image. It's going to be coming off Docker Hub since there's no URL in the beginning of this. A Linux server, a Libre Speed. And then the tag is set to 5.2.5. Now, if there's a newer version by now, you can change this to a, a lighter version. So, uh, the name of the given container will be LibreSpeed. And then the environment variables uh, are to set user ID and group ID. And then volumes uh, to persist the data. Because every time you do a speed test, it persists the data. So, data app data LibreSpeed config is on the host path. And you can change this path if you need to. And in the container is config. So you cannot change the container's path. I'm going to set some ports. So 7400. Now if this is a port conflict on your system, you can change this port to another port. And then you'll update your web UI port. So, and then and the container is 80. You cannot change the container's port. I'm going to set a restart policy of unless stopped. So if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. Or any other reason, it will try to restart. So I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over to my Casa OS and get this installed. So now I'm going to um, start on the Casa OS dashboard. I'm going to go to App Store. And then I'm going to go to Custom Install. And then Import. And then I'm going to uh, paste in the text area, the Docker Compose, and then I'm going to submit, OK. And then in the title, I'm going to say Libra Speed. OK, now I'm going to need to get an icon URL. So I'm going to go back over to Big Bear Video Assets. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go here, copy. And then I'm going to go into Cost OS again. And then I'm going to paste it inside there. And now I have a nice icon. I'm going to set the 7400 port on the web UI. So how you'll get to uh, this Docker container is you'll go uh, to the IP of COS OS. And then you'll add 7400 because that's what it's listening on on the host. So we're using a bridge network. So now I'm going to have to fill in this Libra speed config and then um, I should be good. 
So I'm going to install. And then now it's installed. So we'll get to explaining the options. So I'm going to go over the options. So if you go up these vertical dots right here, you can open the web UI. You can set some tips. So you can edit the tips and put testing in there and then press the uh, the, uh, the check mark down here. It'll reload the container and say li li Libra Speed is okay. So now I'm gonna go back in tips and then you can see it did save. So I'm gonna go out of here. So now I'm gonna show you the settings. So you can change some of the fields in here and then press the save button. If you want to update the image tag, you can't do that from here. You would need to export the Docker Compose, change it in the file, and then re-import it into the Docker Compose, uh, the import, and then you'll be able to have the new labor speed. Just as long as you have volumes, you won't lose any data, but always make sure you do backups of your data if you're doing anything important. So now you can see the terminal logs which is great for debugging and export the Docker Compose. So I'm going to go out of here. So now you can check for updates on the current tag it's on. It won't change the tag. And then uninstall the container, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm going to go over the files and where they're located. So it's really easy in Cos OS. I'm going to go on the Files app, and then App Data right here, and then Libre Speed, and then Config. And then you can see all of the files that are in the config and labor speed that we have. So, um, so you can go out of here, and if you want to uh, to have the options, so, so you can check mark this, and then download, copy, cut, delete, and then cancel. So that's how to see the files in uh, labor speed. So now that we went over uh, the options and showed you where the files are, I'm going to go in the UI now. So you can either do it from here or you can go over here and say open. So I'm going to say open and then here you go and you have it up. So you can press the start button. It's really simple. And then it's getting the download and now it's doing the upload. It does your ping, jitter, and download and upload, so it's pretty neat. You can also go here, you can co copy the link, and then you can go to that inside of your browser. So here you go, you, you, you have an image that you can just copy, and then put it on a board or something like that, or a form, I mean. So, that's how to get LibreSpeed working on the UI. So I just showed you step by step on how to get Libra Speed working on Casa OS. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.